No break a lot, my girl, no break a lot, okay? No break a lot. Oh, it's K Cash. I'm here today to give you a review for Games People Play, um, season one, episode seven. Okay, so you know this episode, we're gonna really get into like now. It's everything is like kind of like coming out now, you know. But you know, first we see Detective Cooper. He's at the bar. And he sees Officer Cooper. <laughs> she got court side seats to the game. Mm. And he wants to know, you know, how did she get those tickets or whatever. So he takes her and he questions her. And she was like, if you, if I tell, will I lose my job? But first she was showing pictures of her family and stuff. And he was like, look, you need to get to the real thing. Like how you, you know, how you get those seats. So it did, it showed, only thing it showed was her saying that she, um, would she lose her job? And next thing we see, we see her with a box. So I guess she did lose her job. But, um, she called TJ, Nina's assistant, and told him that she had a tape of Vanessa and the dead girl, you know, fighting or whatever so did she keep a copy of it for herself or did she give a copy to the detective too did she make extra copies or did she know that you know something like this would happen i don't know we didn't get a lot of detail in there i mean eventually i know it's probably gonna all come out and you know make sense and um <laughs> tj ran when he got the phone call he ran straight to Nina, told her what happened. Nina was like, basically, she was like, you can, you know, we're not doing the story. If you don't like it, you can pack your shit and get the hell on. Because, uh, you know, she really defended her friend. You know what I'm saying? But I can imagine that type of job, you know, at some point, you know, it's going to be like, you got to do your job. But she probably need to be like head on it, you know, kind of just let her know, you know, what's going, hey girl, it's a tape out there, she should have told her that it was, that, you know, the tape was out there because she was, Vanessa was questioned by the detective, if she would have known the tape was already out there you know, Vanessa, you know, she would have known how to, you know, carry the situation but I guess Nina was just like, she's just going to shut the thing down totally so she was like, fuck it, I ain't I don't want to hear nothing about it, and if you don't like it you can pack your shit and get the hell on, you know <laughs> mm. Then Erica, oh not Erica, I'm sorry, Eric, Nina's boyfriend, he pulls up on Terrence at his job. So Terrence, I guess, I don't know if he used to be in journalism now, but he's a police officer or something like that. And um, he pulls up on him and he said, hey man, what you doing talking to my girl? And Terrence, oh my goodness, he's like, look, I want your girl, I'm trying to pursue her, you know, I want her to be mine, I'm like, damn, he's so bold, like, so up front with it, but you know, sometimes you just know what type of people you're dealing with, I don't know, but that right there was, like, different, like, okay, but Nina didn't even know that he felt this way about her, you know what I'm saying, I, I don't think she realized it, so TJ, he comes, back to Nina office like hey girl what's what's going on with you and she just like you know what I'm just she backed up <laughs> so you know he was telling her maybe you need you know your man Eric only gonna be here for one more night so maybe you need to go and you know spend some quality time with him so she goes home she thinking that you know it's gonna go down and everything like that come to find out he upset because he went on his own to go see him but she don't really know that. I mean, I guess they kind of know that they kind of like each other or whatever. But, ooh, honey, the way Terrence just said it, it's like, ooh, mm, that's relevant. Okay, all right then, honey. <laughs> so she thinking that, you know, she finna get her some. But, mm -mm, Eric ain't with that shit. Eric like, hell no. You know, this man, he really like you and shit. And I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I don't appreciate that. So she's just like, you know what, I ain't got time for this. And she just leaves him alone. But then, so then next we go to Goddess. Goddess, she walks into the agency and they're like, oh, 
girl, you looking good. You know, she's like, uh, uh, I ain't coming up here for all that. Let me talk to this madam lady because I'm trying to find my friend. She been missing. Now, you know, from the last episode, she was in the car um, with the African and they were trying to set up, set her up. So I don't know what they were going to actually do to her, but. You know, they didn't do it. So she talking to the madam like, and the madam like, I don't know, Susie. I, she was like, no, you know, Susie, I'm going to expose your ass to all these girls, but you really up here sitting up here for, you know. So then she tells, she was like, well, maybe I know her, but she was like, you know, the people I deal with, they some serious people. But the way she, the madam said it, she said it like Susie was already dead. So I don't know, you know, what she know or whatever, but how could Susie be dead when well, I don't know, you know, they did. I mean, she was trying to set her up, and she didn't, you know, fall for it. So maybe they maybe they did kill her. I don't know. Mm -hmm. mm, that would be crazy if they killed her. <clears throat> mm. Okay. But anyway, so, you know, she's just trying to get some more information because she hadn't heard, it, heard from her or nothing like that. So then we go to Vanessa and Marcus. They're on their date night. You know, they just, you know, talking to each other. She ordered some type of dessert. She don't care how long. His phone ringing. Basically, this scene was just showing how they're trying to really <clears throat> focus on each other. You know, and um, she says that she needs an upgraded. She need an upgrade on her ring. You know, to show how large her heart is. And he was like, well, what about my ring? She was like, I ain't got no job, fool. What you mean? You know, so I thought that scene was kind of cute, you know, just to show, you know, their relationships side and show how they, you know, really try to focus on one another, especially when there's all this shit going down between them. So that was really cute, you know. <clears throat> but then we go to another scene where Vanessa and Marcus, they're being questioned um, by the detective. First, they got prepped for it. And, you know, Marcus, he's trying to act like he's so damn hard. You know, look, the lawyer, like, look, just answer the question. I'll ask you the way to answer. He, you don't have to go into all those details and stuff like that. So, come to find out, the dead girl, which... I'm going to get her name. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be calling her the dead girl, but I guess what <clears throat> Marcus is, uh, Marcus is, what is it called? I don't know. Lover. Marcus is lover or whatever. Come to find out she was pregnant. Now, in, they, in, in their interrogate, in Marcus's interrogation, he found out that she pregnant. But in Vanessa's, man... Vanessa found out it's a tape. Vanessa was like, oh, you know, he asked her, how did you feel about him cheating or whatever? She was like, oh, you know, I was disappointed more than anything. And so, you know, the detective, he pulled up the video of Vanessa chasing the girl out and the girl ain't got no clothes on. So she didn't know what to say. So the lawyer was just like, no, 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 this is it. It's time for us to go. No, we we'll, we'll want none of that. But I really wish that Nia, like, come on, Nia. Nia, she should have at least gave her girl the heads up. Like, look, this is what I found. So now it seems like the next episode that's coming out, it, seeming like, it seems like everything is now going to kind of like be tied together. But I wish that it was tied together then, you know. I guess shit, it wouldn't be TV if it was all tied together, whatever. <laughs> but, um... So, but after they got questioned and they were walking out, they saw Goddess. Well, Vanessa saw, well, they both had to see her. But, you know, Marcus, you know, like a man, he going to act like him. He don't even see her. He walking straight like, oh, I ain't even trying to get in that shit today. <laughs> I ain't trying to get in that shit today. Uh-uh, hell no. <laughs> but Vanessa, she dog looking at her like, this, this bitch, you know. <laughs> So then, um, Vanessa, she's at home, you know, she dealing with paparazzi, you know, she talking on the phone. She, she asked Nia if she knew about it and he was like, no girl, I didn't know, you know. So finally, um, 
she gets off the phone with Nia. Vanessa gets off the phone with Nia. She sees her daughter. Her daughter, too. Her daughter don't know what the hell going on. Honey, you got your headphones. Are you listening? Oh, you're playing your games. Let me tell you, everything's going to be okay. That little girl don't give a damn. She's looking at YouTube videos. She's looking at other kids play with toys. That's what she's looking at. <laughs> you know, it's, you know, y'all, but those basketball wives, honey, they came on that, that, that yard, honey. They came with pizza. They came with their best Sunday dress, dressed up, baby, to the T. Yes, they did. Honey, I was like, oh, shit, now, this is, this is it right here. This is it right here. <laughs> So they come in and they're telling Vanessa, oh, we support you, whether you're wrong or whether you're right, you know, we're just here for you and let us know. Yeah, whatever, I guess so. And they, they telling them, you know, all that people they got, they can come and, you know, do some shit for them if they need me or whatever. So, you know, I guess they just showing their support for right now, you know, or, or they probably just being nosy, one or the other, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, we go to a scene with Marcus. And his ankle. Now, it was a few episodes ago where he didn't want to get in the water um, in his own pool because of his ankle or something. He was limping. So, Kareem calls up his old doctor or whatever. And have him come over and gives him, like, I guess this injection for his ankle. I think people use it for, like, arthritis or something. I could be wrong. I don't know. But that needle was too damn big. What the fuck? Ooh, no, 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 no. Ooh. See, that's why I like to take shots. I look away from the needle. My daughter, she, I like to see what's going on. I don't want to see what's going on. Just tell me how it's going. Just tell me what feeling I'm supposed to be feeling. I'm good. I'm, I'm good on that. Don't just, just tell me the feeling I'm supposed to be feeling. Don't, mm, -mm. No, I don't mind it, you know, and I can take pain, but no, I, don't want, I can't be looking at no needle, but I'm wondering what, what's going on, what the hell going on with his ankle, you know, and then he went to, uh, it wasn't practice, but it seemed like it was like a meeting, a team meeting, and he tripped up and fell or something, and he couldn't get back up or something like that, so I don't know, he better get that in check, I hope he's still able to play the game, you know, the basketball game, and, um, so, I don't, I don't know about that. So, then after that, we have Nina's boss. She comes in. She's pissed because she knows that Vanessa, she knows that Nina knows Vanessa personally. So, you know, the boss come in. She's like, I can't believe this. And she's saying that she didn't get the story. Not, and then he go, he go Nina. Mm -mm. She's like, oh, stop all that. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to make some money. Shit, I'm trying to make some money. I ain't got to... Okay, whatever. She was like, the only reason why I didn't buy it because, you know, it was too much. It cost too much. But she know that she can get a different type of exclusive. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I was saying that everything's going to come together. So her boss like, look, you need to get some type of exclusive that nobody ain't got because I know you can do it. You better pursue it. You better talk to your friend Vanessa some kind of way. Meanwhile, when Vanessa was talking to the basketball wives, they were telling her that she needed to be on top of the story. So that's how Nina and <clears throat> that's how Nina and Vanessa gonna come together. So if they, you know, and try to tell be on top of it, tell the story before the story even get out there, so that her side can be over any other side, you know. So then. Vanessa, so then it gets to Vanessa and Nina, you know, they're talking or whatever. Vanessa now is trying to, you know, see what she can find out about. Nina now is trying to see what she can find out about Vanessa, you know, so because her boss will her to have this story. Meanwhile, Vanessa need, a, you know, she need a good look out there. She need to be ahead of the game. So I think right here they both coming together that's like a good thing or whatever and then now we actually see God as his purpose you know ooh, 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 before I forget Nina talks to Terrence before she went to Vanessa she was talking to him about you know something that she could find out about Vanessa or whatever you know so Terrence is just like your boy pulled up on me you know so Vanessa's like look why did you even do this? But 
he shut that shit down again too. Like he was like, I want you. That's it. And I want to be with you. And then like basically ain't nothing you can do about it. And he kisses her on the cheek and then, you know, he he walks away or whatever. I was just like, ooh. Persistence. I mean, mm, he's not gonna let that go. <laughs> so then we get back to um Vanessa and Nina. They they having dinner, you know, some salads and shit. So here we go with goddess. I saw Goddess at the police station. Here go Vanessa. I saw Goddess at the police station. I'm thinking she had snitched on us or she got something going on. And Nina was like, I don't believe that's true. She was like, well, you need to get her on the phone. And you need to find out what's going on. So Nina calls her and like, hey, Vanessa said you was at the police station. She was like, I need help. When, oh, when Goddess was at the police station, she was talking to the same detective. But she told the detective that her friend was, you know, missing. That's the only thing she did. That was the only scene that they had for that. So Nina, you know, asking her, what, what's up? Why are you down there? She was like, can you help me? I'm looking for my friend. And so at that point, Nina, you know, she's, she got a little sympathy for her. She's like, okay, I, you know, I'll help you out. I'll, I'll come to your house. And she was like, well, can you come in the morning? We can try to figure this thing out. Meanwhile, she knows, Nina knows that she could probably get some, like now Nina, she needs that source. She needs <clears throat> Excuse me. She need all the sources that she can get, you know, to try to, you know, cause she, she, while she sent up that cussing TJ ass out, she might be end up losing her damn job. Mm. She might end up losing her damn job. So, God is, so then Vanessa, and I think that was it because Vanessa said she was going to go check on the baby or whatever. And then we go to the scene, back to the scene with God is. I'm thinking that it was Nina, you know, coming over the next day. I'm like, oh, good. We get to see this last part. Uh-uh. Oh, no, 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 no. <clears throat> Goddess get kidnapped. They put, get, they pick her up and they put her in a trunk. <clears throat> they tie up. But this is the funny part right here, y'all. <laughs> this is the funny part. Where she get them plies from? And where she get that flashlight from? <clears throat> in the backseat of a damn car. I'm just saying, was it a flashlight? I don't know, but I mean, sometimes with her scenes, them, that her scenes be crazy as hell. It be some real off the wall shit with her scenes. So where'd she get that from? The damn, I don't know. Oh, my food is approaching. Oh, damn, that's pretty quick. Um, So, you know, where'd she get the damn, the, the, the pliers and the damn, she tied up, but she got a, she got a, <laughs> She got a light. She got a light and some pliers. You know. So her scene, like I said, her scenes are real crazy. But let's see, is it the Africans that's that kidnapped her? I mean, them the only, I mean, that's the obvious. That's the only obvious thing I can see, you know, find out. And then I wonder if Nina is gonna help her. Cause in the next episode, oh man. The next episode, Vanessa, she getting by the body, baby. She got a pistol in her hand. She like, I'm finna get this bitch. You know, I'm sick of this shit. So she going crazy. Somebody need to calm her ass down. And then, oh, yeah, also, it said that her and Marcus were um high school sweethearts. Yeah. But I guess they went to two different colleges. And then I guess, you know, I guess she went to connect. Connecticut. <clears throat> okay, so you know, I want to know what's up with Marcus's. What's up with Marcus's ankle? Did that happen when they were? I don't know. Did they really do it or not? I'm. I'm curious now. I don't know. So, y'all, jot down in the comments what y'all think about this episode. Um. And which I think about that part with her, with uh with with goddess, golden goddess in the trunk, and um, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Remember to um, comment, subscribe, um, leave a comment, subscribe. I don't care you like it or you don't. Let me know. Till next time, y'all. Bye. <laughs> Don't break it up, my girl. Don't break it up, girl.